Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Dusty here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to work with transitions within Streamlabs OBS. And so what do I mean by transitions? And so if I go right here and go to one of my other streams here, one of my other scenes, so if I go right here to this one, I want to show you guys what I mean by that. So here's one scene that I have set up within Streamlabs OBS. Now, if I go here and I have my stream, stream deck set up here, but if I switch the scenes here like this, you can see it's got that nice little transition that goes left to right, and it gives the time uh, for, you know, I can see here, boom, switch the, the scenes here, and nice little transition. So if we go back now to the other scene that doesn't have transitions, I'm going to show you guys how to work with them. Now, I'll put a link down below from the ones that I purchased. It was a YouTuber uh, who actually had his transitions for sale. You can buy that one, or you can get them for free all over the internet. Just Google transitions for streaming, and you can find some free ones. Now, they do need to be in the format of a movie or .mov. And so what you need to do is go to like, let's just say I am at this scene right here and I want to go ahead and change the, you know, the transitions for Streamlabs. What you need to do is click the cogwheel icon, which is right here. So the cogwheel icon here in the lower left hand corner right here by the scenes is going to say edit scene transitions. If we click on that, this option here will come up that says scene transitions. And then you can see that I have the global transition set to be transition type, which is cut. This is just the native one. This is just the one they have within Streamlabs. But if you want to add your own custom transitions like what you just saw, you need to go up here to the green add transition button. Click that green button there. Once you've done that, you want to go to type of transition, click the drop down menu, and then go down to the bottom to where you see Stinger. For some reason, that's just what their custom, you know, transition name is. It's called Stinger. And then you can give that transition a name here. So you can give the transition, say, New Transition 2. And then the duration is in milliseconds. I normally set mine here to about 250. Again, the higher that this number is, the longer the transition takes. The lower this number is, the shorter the transition takes. It's very simple. And then right here where you see video file, that's going to be where you find the actual .mov file, and that's where you import to go ahead and change the transitions. So if we go here, click the browse button, you can see here on my desktop, I have one here called diagonal wave, and then I click that there. And then once I've found that transition, I'll click the blue open button or double click it like that. Then you'll see that it's going to import that into my scene transition list here. And then again, if you want to, you can adjust just the timing it's all up to you I would watch it a couple of times see what works best for your stream and then go from there uh, audio monitoring if you have any audio cues within that video file you'll be able to hear that if this is on and then audio fade style basically this will cross fade from the audio you have to the audio you're going to I normally let it fade out to transition normally I leave that alone but again you can tweak that make it what you want it to be then click done you're not completely done now what you have to do is select the green little circle here next to your new transition that you just created. Uh, if you want to delete the other ones that are in there so you don't get confused, you can do so by clicking the little trash can icon here, or you can click the pencil icon to edit that transition. I'm going to delete that one there. Make sure this one is set up to be my default trans transition, and then click Done. Now that will be system-wide. And so if I go to my Be Right Back screen, boom, it's going to use the transition. If I go back to my live scene, boom, it's going to use that transition every single time. And if you ever need to go back and edit those transitions, click the cogwheel once more, go in here, click the pencil icon. It'll take you right back to the transitions page. Hopefully this was helpful. I actually have a full tutorial on Streamlabs OBS. If you want to check that out, it'll help you get from start to finish, from not streaming to actually knowing everything you need to know to get up and running on your live stream. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you in the next one.